Hello everyone and welcome to today's second match at the 2019 African Cup of Nations. It's uh, Cameroon against Ghana and uh, we're getting ready for a real derby here. Two of the very best sides of African football facing each other in uh, Group F. So our last group we are going to end match day number two. And uh, Cameroon is leading this group with three points. Benin and Ghana sharing one point after the first match. And the fourth place team in this group without any points is uh, Guinea-Bissau. So uh, Ghana in a big need of points today. And like I said, it should be a really great match. And here's how the teams are lining up for it. Onana and goal for Cameroon. Kanabi, Koyongo, Fai and Ngadunga G, the captain in defence. And Gisa, Joan, Basogog and Njie in the midfield. Triple Moting and Tokwe can be in attack. Ghana with a foreign goal. Niho, Aido, Shlup and Opar in defence. Partey and Duncan playing in front of them. Atu, Wakaso in captain. Andre Ayu in the midfield behind the striker Jordan Ayu. the underway. Really nice tackle there. Also a bit rough at the first impression. So as I said, Ghana with uh, only one point. They uh, drew 2-2 against Benin in uh, the previous match. Quite a, quite a dramatic match to be honest. Benin were leading after only two minutes. Then uh, Ghana equalized pretty quickly. And then they even uh, lead it at the break. Still uh, drop points at the end of the match. And uh, they are in need of points. They're starting off this match pretty well. Pretty nice with this attack. And look at this chance. A good start. They they have to um, they have to uh, pick this one off encouragingly because uh, they're a positive one set really. As I said, they dropped points against Benin and it was a pretty tough match for them. They have to fare much better against Cameroon, one of the very best sides and uh, well, the current African champions, as we know. Only stopped there perfectly by a pirate. The pass a pass a call, it's cut off very well. Jordan Ayu to Andrew Ayu. can be with a pass to Jupa Wauteng facing the goalkeeper what a big miss they really could have gotten in front but credit to Toka can be for getting back up and still chasing that ball they really created some danger here a long ball from the goalkeeper intercepted now by Cameroon Ryongo, triple one team passes to Joan. And Gissa, to Basagog, MJ, moves it on the right to Fai. And the ball is kept in by Schroep, but he now gives it away. He's been under pressure there. Really needed uh, support, which uh, didn't come. And now Cameron with the throw, Fai gets the ball back. Puts a cross in. Oh, it's not uh, properly cleared the way. Fortunately, the goalkeeper retained the ball. Ok, 
Picasso. Gets it to Andreu, quickly dispossessed. One of the most dangerous players, of course, on the Ghana side. And guess so, uh, the pass in front. And Jay gets it back to Triple Monteen. Now Toto it can be. The ball was almost lost, but he kept it. Barca go back to Fai. He's on side, that can be. Trying to get it to Chupo Montig. All defended by Ghana, but Cameron wants to get in possession. Look at the battles for po Oh goodness, the shot is saved. Look at the battles for possession there in the midfield. So many tackles and uh, interceptions. A great match so far as we expected. They're fighting for every single ball here, every single pass. But. Uh, we can't afford to keep this too balanced, especially Ghana. We have to see goals. These uh, two teams need points. A final attack in this first half. Wakaso passes to Aparo. The cross towards Ayo. And the ball is out. That ends the first half. Goal is between Cameroon and Ghana. Two very good sides. It's balanced. And let's see if we'll get any goals in the second half. Second half gets underway. As you know, no goal scores in the first 45 minutes, but it has been a very good match. I'm really curious to uh, see who is going to win this one, if any of the two teams, because as you know, at one point Ghana has to win this one. Cameroon on the other side, a much more relaxed position, but with. Uh, Three more points uh, tonight. They yeah, will uh, most probably end first in the group. Qualify quite easily. Oyongo with a pass to MGA. Joel. Once again on the right side to Fai. Basagog avoided that tackle. Atsu intercepted the ball, but it went out for a throw. It can be heads to Basagog. MJ. Toko can be again. Nuhu with a sliding tackle. A foul given. Heinzman had his flag out for quite a while. If we give the advantage, I think he now shows the yellow card to Nuhu. It's a cross is towards Barca goal. His header uh, really didn't bother the goalkeeper. Didn't get uh, too close. But a nice attempt nonetheless. We do want to see this kind of things. Especially in a match involving two great teams. Three shots for Cameroon, two for Ghana and none of them on target. But as I said, it's good that they're creating chances. They have to remain positive and I'm really not sure which way this uh, match is going to be. It could go either way and until the 90 minutes, I'm sure we won't have a conclusion. It can be, moves it back on the right side to Barca Dog. A chip pass to Fai who is offside. Although he doesn't agree with the Lions Ben, he has been offside. with a long ball well headed to Atsu now interesting pass to Schlup his cross is deflected and Cameron are attacking now lots of passes there for Cameron a draw it's much more helpful for them than uh, for Ghana. So uh, they are attacking, but only when given the chance, not really forcing themselves. Five passes to Captain Gadu and Gadu. 
That's a goal. So it can be. Can't advance. The pass is cut off by Nuhu and the ball goes after a throw. Very interesting how it bounced there was was going down for the goal kick, but wasn't the case. Less than 15 minutes remaining. An intercession by NGA, pass to Barca Gold. Get in the box, try to pass it to uh, Chupa Bortega in front of goal. They give away the corner kick, but avoided a really menacing attack there. A short pass, Chupa to the crossroads, and Gissa got much closer this time. Another headed shot, and Cameroon looking like the slightly better side, at least in this uh, second half. So we're still goalless and into the last minutes we're going, it's very hard to separate these two sides. Makasa is not going to reach in that pass, so Yongo gets it to Onana. It's put up front and Jay passes back in the defence. Triple team heads to Jom. Tries to pass it back to him. Oh, well headed to NGA and then uh, gonna get promising chance here. The shot still goes in. And it's a very late goal. Might as well be the winning goal. Unbelievable. What a moment for Calhoun. A late goal that uh, could grant them um, six points at the end of this uh, match day and They'll qualify and very likely to finish first in this group. That was an excellent pass here by Chupa Moting. Very well done to get it to his teammates. And I'm not really sure if the shot was deflected, but it really doesn't matter now. It went in and they are leading, making a change. Manjak is going to replace uh, Joom. Gannon players, of course, aren't happy about this, so uh, seeing it as an opportunity to waste time. But yeah, there's very little time left. And Ghana are in serious danger now of uh, even being eliminated. Sure, they've got another match, and if they win that one, they still uh, finish second. They'll have to wait for uh, a few more days. The change made by Ghana now should be replaced by Ivan Yenu. And let's see how many minutes will be added to Ghana's trying to attack. Atsu tries to put him across. He is intercepted by Cameron's captain. And that has been it. Cameron win. With a goal scored in the 87th minute, it's been dramatic, it's been exciting, and we at least have a winner. Thank you for watching, another AFCO match coming up, and if any of the Gold Cup, stay tuned for all the videos.